So the class will be learning the subjunctives. And I can assure you this topic is very helpful. By the end of this class, you'll be able to give a lot of commands, instructions, suggestions to your friends in Hindi. Okay. Um, the topic may sound, as I said, like the word may sound a little bit complicated, but uh, um, towards the end of the class, you'll be able to say all these concepts in Hindi, which is like, I want you to, I want you to, let's say, dance, sing, eat, sleep, okay, or anything like that, any verb you can put here, okay. So, the reason it's important because so far we've never covered in the last 450 classes, we have not covered this construct. What's so special about this construct, okay? Um, I'll tell you, we have covered I want construct, which is our case one, okay? And some of you may recall, you know, um, how to say, you know, sentences that start with, you know, I want, for example, I want an apple, um, I want, um, you know, a book, right? Or I want, uh, you know, a house or I want a job. All those things can be covered using the I want construct, okay? Similarly, your case two or the sentence scenario two where, you know, when you're giving suggestions to your friends that, you know, you should, you know, eat or you should sing or you should, you know, um, um, you know, find a job. All those suggestions and recommendations, you know, that's covered in the second sentence. But what if you combine both of them together? Okay, we have not covered those scenarios. That's when, you know, it comes, you know, when you combine both of them, you come across scenarios like this where you're saying, I want you to dance. Okay, now, um, and this is nothing but like, you know, in this case, the second verb become your subjunctive. Okay, and how you are basically, uh, you know, conjugating it, it becomes very important. So I hope fundamentally the concept is, you know, clear. Uh, as I said, we will be covering several examples. So, uh, you know, you by the end of this class, you'll have a very good clarity on it. Okay, so let me quickly erase it and um, I'll start with the definition. <clears throat> Okay, so as I said, subjunctive is, you know, those are the scenarios when, when you want, when you want someone, when you want someone to comply, comply with your okay uh, when you want someone to comply with your wishes okay that's basically uh, the case where subjectives are used so again reflect back to the sentence that i just wrote previously that you know i want you to to learn a language okay um where i'm really asking or I'm, i really want someone like, you know, to comply with my wishes. Okay. Now, it's a, you know, it's, it's an interesting concept because, you know, you have to find the balance between suggestions and the commands. Okay. So it's basically find the balance between suggestions or commands. Okay, I mean, I can give a command that, you know, um, aap gain. okay, that's a very strong command, okay, or aap, you know, uthe, you should stand up, okay, or aap padhe, that you should study, or, you know, you to study, this is a strong command, okay, um, that's one way to do it, okay, um, let's keep going, and I hope you've written down the definition, and I really want to kind of part the sentence into two different cases. Okay. So the first was the case one is I want to to say something. 
This is your normal case. Okay. The second one is I want you to say something. Okay. So I'm going to take a quick pause here to see because I want you to do this exercise with me. Think about how will you say the first sentence in Hindi as well as the second sentence in Hindi. So take your time. There's no rush. Okay, take your time and then try to, you know, do one, one sentence at a time. The first one is I want to say something. Second one is I want you to say something. Chelsea, do you want to try? Probably I'll go on okay. yep. For the first sentence, I would say, make kuch bolna chahati hu. Okay, I want to say something is main. कुछ बोलना चाहती First tell us how did you come up with this one? Um, so to say I want mm -hmm. it's you can say मैं चाहती हूँ and we know you know बोलना is to say mm -hmm. कुछ is something so mm -hmm. That's how I would put it together. My coach will not chat to him. Awesome. Now the second one. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this one is difficult, but maybe you could say something like, uh, "May chat to him ki tum kuch bolao." Or very good. So you almost got it right. So you said, "May chat to him." Okay, so that's the first part. How did you come up with this? Um, because that's how you say I want. Okay, you said first part, and now that's the first case you said, and you used a conjunction in between, which is key. Key. Yep. Yeah. And then you said. Um, tum kuch bolie. Okay. Or tum kuch uh, bolna maybe. Okay. I don't know. That's fine. Almost there, right? So you said tum or other ways up, kuch, and then this part is the question mark part, right? And actually, that's called subjunctive verb. Okay. How? What? What's the form of the verb that will you will be using in the end? Okay. Um. So I you you pretty much you know. Um, Got us to the the essence of this class. How do you say the last part, or how do you say which form of the the verb bolna will you be you'll be using? Okay, so let's start with the subjunctive verb first, and what the form of the verb. Okay, typically the easiest way for you to remember is like you know is basically think about the future indefinite tense. How will you say you will you will say or you will speak speak. Or say. How will you say this? Let's try with that. You can say "tum bolenge." Okay, try with "ap". Ap. Ap bolenge. Right. Ap bolenge. Right. So the way it works in subjunctive, you basically remove the the "ga" "ge" and "gi". Ga, ge, and ki. You remove that. Okay. So even though the base form is bolna, okay. Typically, we always learn the verb by removing na and putting something else, right? Um, in this case, you are really starting with the future indefinite form for that particular pronoun, okay? Which is basically in this case bolenge. When you remove the ga, ge, and ki. Your remaining stem is आप कुछ बोले, okay? आप कुछ बोले. So now your sentence will be 
मैं चाहती हूं कि आप कुछ बोले ओके स्टिक विथ मी ओके दिस इज गोना टेक फ्यू मोर इट्रेशन सो विल डू इट फ्यू टाइम्स टू मेक श्योर दिस इज क्लियर एंड इवन आफ्टर दिस सेंटेंस इज क्लियर विल ट्राई टू कैंड ऑफ ब्रेक इट डाउन फ्रॉम अंडर ओके सो आई वॉन्ट यू टू से समथिंग नाउ आई वॉन्ट यू टू लर्न समथिंग learn something so right now my task is or my ask is don't worry about the rest of the some rest of the sentence just tell me the subjunctive form of the verb uh learn is seekhna okay learn is to learn is seekhna now all i'm asking is what is the subjunctive form of seekhna for you know up okay so take your time all of you and then write it down okay bredo very good awesome so i think most of the folks you know elan Carolina, all of you are getting it correctly, Ria. Okay, so very good, right? So you want to try it? What what is it, Chelsea ji? आप कुछ सीखें. Very good, right? So आप कुछ सीखें. Okay, आप कुछ सीखें. Okay, we'll try. What I'll do is like you know I'll just write down few of them so for everyone to kind of brainstorm and practice. Okay, the first one is to eat. so ask is here first you write the infinitive form of the verb like to eat is what and then the subjunctive form of the verb okay so the first one is to eat uh, second one is to to find okay and uh, let's see to sing that's it actually these three are good enough I mean, this gives me confidence that you guys have understood the concept. Okay, so first, write down how do you say to eat in the infinitive form that ends with na. Okay, same thing to find and to sing, and then you know. So for everyone, write it down on the on the chat box and. Uh, right so to give an example to eat is khana okay try the subjunctive form similarly same thing for to find and to sing so again if you to if you recall the best form would be to to think about the future indefinite form okay uh, khana becomes khayenge you know khayengi khaunga right okay now as i said you will remove the the ga ge gi or gu like those ending part and then you will automatically you know get the answer okay awesome elan very good and same is for bredo and uh, carolina so let's look at the first one to eat is khana okay um so and the verb for to find is dhundna okay and the verb for to sing is gana so let me write down those first to eat is khana to find is dhundna okay and to sing is gana okay as i said like first you think about main chahta hu ki aap kuch you know um you know 
यू विल ईट इज आप खाएंगे ओके नाउ वॉट यूल डू इज यूल रिमूव दी गे ओके सो आप कुछ खाए ओके मैं चाहता हूं कि आप कुछ खाए लाइक थिंक अबाउट इट लाइक इफ यू नो समी कम्स टू योर हाउस एंड यूर ऑफरिंग दम द फूड ओके यू विल बी यूजिंग यू के नॉट गिव दम द कमांड और यू नो you 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 have to find the balance between your suggestions and the recommendation at the same time you know little bit of persuasion is there right so you will say that main chahta hu ki aap kuch khaye okay um and the next thing is like to find you know to find is dhoondna okay um the future form would, would be aap kuch dhoonde okay uh, oh, sorry dhoondenge but uh, when you are writing it in subjunctive form you will be aap kuch dhoonde ओके मैं चाहता हूं कि आप कुछ ढूंढ रहे लास्ट वन टू सिंग इज गाना एंड अगेन इफ समी यू नो लाइक अ सिंगर और म्यूजिशियन दे कम टू योर हाउस राइट एंड यू नो यू कैन नॉट फोर्स देम राइट आई मीन दे आर योर गेस्ट एट द सेम टाइम यू नो यू अगेन यू वांट टू सॉर्ट ऑफ लाइक रिक्वेस्ट बट एट द सेम टाइम यू डोंट वांट देम टू से यू नो नो टू टू दैट इधर सो स्लाइट परसुएशन इज देयर राइट सो यू से मैं चाहता हूं और हम चाहते हैं कि आप कुछ यू नो गाना बिकम्स गाय गाय आप कुछ गाए ओके सो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर राइट आई मीन आई होप यू सी दी दू नो दी दू नो हाउ पावरफुल इट इज फॉर यू राइट एंड राइट नाउ आई एम जस्ट टर्निंग यू टू यूज दिस कॉन्स्ट्रक्ट बिकॉज यू हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ लाइक Sort of a formula to kind of look up to, okay? But really, the applications can be more than that. You know, it could be instead of I want, it could be we want, okay? In, instead of you, it can be you know, um, um, it can be anything else. It could be other verb also, okay? Uh, we want them to learn something. Think about it, right? I mean, there's another pronoun in it, okay? Uh, and uh, he wants her to learn something think about it like again this many more possibilities that you can do so many sentences just with the uh, if you understand the concept called subjunctive okay so now let's see if you have any guys have any questions before i you know um you know um before i move further so is the audio good it seems like you know my voice is breaking up so let me know if it is on my end or like you know Just give me a quick comment on the Facebook if you can hear me, okay? So, Kavala energy, the essentially the this part is the subjunctive part, okay? This part, and um, you know, again, the way I came up with these this form is like you know what I did was I created the future indefinite part. first i tried khana okay for future indefinite khana would be main khaunga okay main for a girl main khaungi okay aap khayenge khayenge same thing for hum you say hum khayenge aur ve khayenge okay um aur to if you are to say informal you to khayega okay so far so good okay and as i said you know when you are converting them into subjunctive form you will remove the the ga ge gi so you will remove this ga or gi you will remove this and you will remove this okay now your sentence become as i said like you know um main chahta hu ki aap मैं चाहता हूं कि मैं कुछ खाऊं इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट माई सेल्फ ओके यू कैन से मैं चाहता हूं कि मैं कुछ खाऊं दिस पार्ट एंड इफ चेल्सी जी सेंगे शील से मैं चाहता हूं कि मैं कुछ खाऊं सेम थिंग बिकॉज शी इज रिमूव द की ओके इफ आई एम आस्किंग यू गाइस राइट आई से मैं चाहता हूं कि आप कुछ खाएं ओके टिल हियर यू रिमूव द गे पार्ट ओके and same thing like you know main chahta hu ki tu kuch khaye if i'm using an uh, informal you okay so i hope this you know clarifies it further um 
Now, I think the question is like, you know, um, Elan is asking Dhundana. Okay. Same thing. I want you to, to, um, to try this thing yourself. Dhundana becomes Dhundunga or Dhundungi. Okay. Uh, Dhundenge. Okay. It could be difficult to pronounce it, but the concept is still the same. If you try it, conceptually, you're still doing the same, same exact thing that you're converting them into future indefinite. And then you are removing the gagegi. Okay. Uh, you also have to pay attention to the slight nasalized sound towards the end. Okay. Because you know, you are only removing the gagegi, but the ending of it, there is still like the, in, if you're writing it in Dev Nagari, there'll be dot on top. Right. So to kind of, you know, have the nasalized sound. Okay. So I hope this is clear. Uh, and uh, you guys are following me. Okay. Now, now it's your part. Right uh, now, your part where you will be doing some more exercises. Okay, so the exercise one is and I'll cover more things here. I want. I want to stay here. Okay, I want to stay here. And the second sentence is I want you to stay here. Okay, first is I want to stay here. And the second one is I want you to stay here. Okay, um, if you don't know the word to stay is Teherna. That's one way to say it. Teherna. Teherna. And the way you write it in Devanagari, you have a T, you have a H, a R, and then you have a N with A. Teherna. Okay. Okay, Teherna. So let me change it. I want them to stay here that you have more applications. I want them to stay here. Okay. Now take your time. I'm not going to rush. I want you to convert both of them in Hindi. All right. So really, if I were to say, if, if I were to use the subjective form, I want you to break it down the sentence. Okay. And um, this would make your life much easier. Okay. So Stahana as well as Rehna, for some of you, you know, who've used Rehna more often, it's also correct. Rehna. Rehna. Okay, no worries. You want to try it, Chelsea G, the first one? Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I would say, me chati hu ki me yaha rahe. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no worries. So I want to stay here. Me. There's no subjunctive here so far. So me. Okay. <clears throat> so me yaha. Very good. Me yaha. You can say teherna or. Rehna. That's right. Me yaha rehna or teherna. Jati. Very good. Okay. The good thing that you notice here that there, there is no subjective, right? It's subjunctive. It's simply me for I, yaha for here. Okay. Vehna is because to stay here. And you see, the verb itself is used in the infinitive form. That's why you have rehna ending with na. Okay. Me yaha rehna. And um, as 
Chelsea ji mentioned to want or to desire is chahna. Okay. And for feminine singular, it would be chahti. Hmm. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. Continue, Chelsea ji. Next part. I want them to stay here. Okay. I want them to stay here. Very good. So, I want them that's the first thing you did. You kind of converted I want. Okay. Chahti now I have not covered this part, which I'll cover. Ki. So that's the first sentence that will be you will be doing. Chahti and then them to stay here. Ve yaha. Okay. Tell me the subjective form now. Um, I think it's Tehare. Okay, Tehare. How did you come up with Tehare? I was thinking, I was trying to think what it would be in the future mm -hmm. tense. So I was thinking Teharenge. Teharenge. Very good, right? And you remove the ge. So it would become Teharenge will be, let me write down Teharenge. Teharenge. If you remove the GE, it will be Teharenge. Which is essentially what it is. Main chahti hoon ki ve yaha thehre. Okay, with the nasalized sound. Main chahti chahti hoon ki ve yaha thehre. Um, so I hope all of you came up with like the similar, you know, subjunctive form. One thing which we didn't cover was the the key part. Okay. Um, when do we use this key? It's a, you know, it's an important question, right? I mean, uh, and I think in the previous class, I probably clarified it further. This is, there are two types of keys which are used in the Hindi sentences. The one is the, the lower key, smaller key, and the one is in the, the upper key, the capital, right? So this one is when you are using this key construct to join two sentences, you're using this one, key, okay? When you're using it as a verb or you're using it as a post position you're using this key okay when i say ron key ladki ron's daughter it would become ron key uh, in which you are putting more emphasis on the e part okay when there is a lesser emphasis on e the sound then it's a uh, you know it's the other key the first one okay so I often, you know, I'm kind of notorious on using just in English, I just write KI. But essentially, whenever there's a, you're putting more emphasis on the E sound, this is this one. Okay. If there's a lesser emphasis on the E sound, it's this key. When you're using uh, the key construct to use these sentences, two sentences, then you're using the, you're putting lower emphasis on the E sound. Okay. Uh, but again, as I said, like when you're using it to, to use as a post position, like Ron key, Lurki, Ron key bike, okay, or Ron key company, okay, uh, all of those you're putting more emphasis on the E sound, and that's what the post position key is, okay. Uh, in this case, you know, that's an important thing to notice. Uh, whenever the sentences are long and you're adding, you know, more and more sentences, you will continue to use key in between them. Okay, um, so I hope this is clear. Um, let me see if there are any questions from anyone on the, um, from folks who are watching on Facebook. So Elan, I'm glad to see you are feeling very powerful here. <laughs> um, uh, Sharon ji, your sentence is correct. I want to be here. Uh, Riyaji, your sentence is absolutely correct as well. I want to stay here. I want to stay here. Okay. Five right. so now I want to write something. Okay. Let me write it down. Let me write down my wishes here that I want you to comply on. Right. So now, how much time do we have left? We have still have a lot of time left. Okay. Uh, so, I want to I want to 
कि आप कुछ आ, लिखें ओके okay? आप कुछ लिखें ओके आई होप दिस सेंटेंस मेक सेंस टू यू आई वांट आई वांट यू टू टू राइट समथिंग ओके um anything anything that basically it's your desires that you want something to happen in the in your city in the world or like you know around you in community um it's sort of an essay for you okay uh, it's important to you know that you independently come up with something which will kind of you know you can cherish okay um so i'm going to give you some time i mean usually i give the exercise where i ask you to just convert but this is an open ended exercise where you just come up with your sentences right i mean i can say one sentence and maybe that will give you some you know uh, some lead right so main chahta hu ki log log is people log duniya mein खुश रहे ओके मैं चाहता हूं कि लोग दुनिया में खुश रहे आई आई वॉन्ट पीपल टू टू रिमेन हैप्पी इन दी वर्ल्ड और स्टे हैप्पी इन दी वर्ल्ड ओके आई होप दैट गिव्स यू सम क्लू बट अगेन कमिंग बैक टू दी एक्सरसाइज आई वॉन्ट एटलीस्ट यू टू द नेक्स्ट टेन मिनट्स यू टू राइट वेरियस सेंटेंसेज एंड आई एम गीड each of your sentences without giving your name <laughs> so you don't feel that i'm calling you out okay uh, so one is main chahti hu ki aap sabji khaye very good okay main chahti hu ki mom ka din khush rahe okay very good it's a good wish on a mother's day okay so main chahti hu ki mausam delhi mein garam rahe very good kam garam rahe okay <laughs> okay so now before i um before i move further there is a very good question that came from sharan ji what is the literal meaning of this key in english um it's that okay i want you know that and then you have that the people remain happy in the world so that's the literal translation okay anyway continue with this exercise as i read your okay So, मैं, चा, मैं चाहता हूं कि दिल्ली का मौसम कम गर्म रहे दिस शुड बी इजी नाउ राइट वी कवर्ड सो मेनी एग्जांपल्स टेक रिस्क मैं चाहता हूं कि आप लोग रिस्क लें ओके मैं चाहती हूं कि आप रोटी बनाए वेरी गुड मैं चाहती हूं कि आप एक्सरसाइज करें ओके ऑल गुड ओके मैं चाहती हूं कि मैं घर जल्दी वापस आऊं ओके so you see it's it's so powerful right i'm so excited to to see all these responses and folks who are watching live on on google or uh, youtube also please definitely write your answers um i usually after the end of the the lesson i do go over the video just to see your you know comments Okay, what else? Ilanji, you want to write something?
ओके मैं चाहती हूं कि आप बच्चा ढूंढे ओके आई वॉन्ट यू टू फाइंड द बेबी वेरी गुड मैं मैं यही चाहता हूँ रिया जी सो so, रिया जी रोड आशु जी चाहते हैं कि हम लोग अच्छी हिंदी बोले ट्रू आई वॉन्ट यू टू स्पीक गुड हिंदी राइट सो सो वॉट आई डू आई मीन आई थिंक यू नो आई एम रियली हैप्पी दैट यू नो बी एबल टू कवर दिस सब्जेक्टिव कंस्ट्रक्ट इन द लास्ट फोर्टी मिनट्स I hope you find it very powerful, and I want you to use it. I want you to use it in your daily life. Like you are saying, and when you talk to people, you are using it. And you are using it in Hindi. 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 And you are Uh, with that, uh, thanks so much for everyone who joined through, you know, Facebook Live as well as Google Hangout. Um, I want to ask you that you join the next class and you know, Hindi is being taught. Thank you so much, and I'll open it up for any questions. Chelsea Ji, may I have some? I'm going to stop the broadcast.